Hey, good evening, uh, CAF audience. Welcome to the most amateur hour on CAF Live. So I appreciate you joining us for this um, August show, or excuse me, April show, um, March theme. And uh, I think you guys know it's going to be an interesting one. So appreciate you joining and I will bring in the audience, but this is the uh, only show on CAF that Bill gets to be part of the audience as well. So welcome Bill to the audience. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to enjoy our panel today. We've got all, all, all kinds of collectors, all kinds of people that you've seen on uh, uh, CAF Live before. We'll start with Mr. Wingo. James, sorry. Hey. Good night. Good evening. Hey. Miss um, Tatiana. Hey, James. Thanks for having me tonight. You are welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, Derek, hey, who... Uh, is our West Coaster, and he uh, thankfully flew home through traffic to join us today, so I appreciate that. I don't know, should I bring this last one in? <laughs> hey, Sharon. Now, now I, I, I lost the show. I already lost it. Well, you're on. The heck? I am? Yep. We can you're see live. You. Your hat's I'm fantastic. Here. I made it! Yay! It's so good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining. All right. Well, you guys, um, you, you, you have a day or you have a, a next hour and a half in front of you. So as you guys know, our theme that uh, was chosen by the audience, uh, I had nothing to do with it except for log your answers and give you guys the polling options. And the theme topic was um, presented by Mr. Wingo, Mr. Scott. So you can thank him for the next hour. And it's tentacles. Um, hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Sharon's really embracing this one. Show us your leggings, Sharon. Got the tentacle hat. Got tentacle fingernails. Whoa. Look behind her. Look behind oh, her. What? Tentacle oh, yeah. backdrop. I don't even Whoa. know where you get an octopus hat or tentacle hat. <laughs> yeah. Party city. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, did you just have a running tab? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's got me. She goes, right goes Sharon. They deliver the same day. Party City. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go and get the share up. Yay! And I'm going to, oh, there we go. All right, so we know the rules, but let's go ahead and go through them anyway. So uh, for the March 2023, um, subject was tentacles. We had 100 entries, um, which is down about half from the first two months, but you know, given the topic, it it's, could be more of a challenge. Um, the quality the was up, up eight. It was the quality was yeah. fantastic. I thought um, <laughs> we would have to NSFW this entire show or do cap after hours, but no, we actually got through um, all the selections. So to recap, there'll be four rounds. Um, your panelists uh, pick their four favorite pieces um, without overlapping um, of those rounds. We'll present uh, a piece from each person, have them talk about the piece, why they picked it, why it's better than the other three, um, why they should win the championship. And then the winner of each round will go to a final round and you guys will vote every round. If you guys have your cell phones or, or um, click on a different link within your tab, you can go to slido.com and put in that pin number, click the QR code and put in the pin number and you can pull along with us. I mean, you guys uh, you know, pick the art you guys uh, figure out who wins. And then the winner of the championship round, just like the other two rounds, will go to Best of Calf Live. Um, one exciting note, um, Jim Keller is not presented in this one, so he can't win for a third time. So no Jim. So people have a chance this time. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. The order is going to be... Let me see if I can move you guys around to make this... Uh, There you go. It's going to be Derek, Tatiana, Sharon, and McDonnell. Oh, was that, your <laughs> was that your nickname in college? All right. So round one. Derek, we have got Hunt Number One by Mr. Ryan Otley. Yeah. So I I saw this when when I was looking through all the the tentacle options, and I, I just like Haunt. Like I thought it was a cool comic. It was something that McFarland had put out, and then Greg Capullo did. And I saw this Ryan Otley cover, and I just thought it was really sweet. 
And I did look at everybody's names, so I know most of these are my friends, but I don't care. I didn't hold it against them. And I, I think it's cool because Haunt's kind of like a, you know, he's kind of like Spawn or Venom. Like, he's kind of got this symbiote type thing, so that's why he's got all those squiggly, tentacly, weird things coming out of him. And I thought it was a cool concept because he's a, a priest, and then he's got this kind of symbiote suit over him or whatever. So I remember reading the book for like maybe a, a year and a half or so, and I just thought it was really cool. When, it, out. when did it come out? Uh, probably like, I don't know. I, I, all the 2020 stuff like blurs for me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it came out either like maybe like 2009 or, or older. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember exactly. All right. So I'm trying to is he just have one tentacle? Has he got multiple tentacles? Yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff like coming out of his hands. It's kind of like, you know, it's like when Venom does his little, you know, whatever stuff and there's all the the kind of goo and tentacle and all that stuff all over the place. He's he's the same thing as like Spawn or, or Venom or whatever. He's got like all kinds of craziness coming out and getting bad guys and whatnot. Yeah, Todd's got a thing for uh, heroes or villains covered in yeah transmittable goo i guess yep yep <laughs> don't we all all right all right tatiana why is your piece better than derek's oh yeah listen i will say a couple I'll things pick that one um that was the main theme one that was before all the picks were in so no favoritism i promise so um, so I'll say a couple things. Yes, obviously this art is a piece by one of the artists I rep. Um, that's not why I chose it. And I didn't choose all of the pieces by artists I rep. So I made sure to not do that. Um, the thing I really, so this piece is by, by Sia Ohm. It was done for, um, Kamikaze. they the octopus is like one of their themes for the show. So, um, you'll see people do a lot of octopus themed art for that show. And so this piece is featuring uh, Sia's character Lola from her um, her book Lola XOXO. And the thing that I actually really love about this, like Lola's a great book and it's a great character, but this is really all about that octopus. Like that octopus looks so good. The coloring on it is amazing. It is so lifelike. I could tell that she really spent a lot of time looking at reference. Um, photos and stuff when she was doing a lot of the the shading and things you know um octopi can be very um very interesting creatures as far as like their colors um and shades so uh so that was the reason i picked it i just think it's just really cool you can tell she really put a lot of love and a lot of time into that creature. yeah it's beautifully done so you said the kamikaze show yeah or it's uh i don't know if they changed the name or not it was um it was Stan Lee's show that was in LA at the Staples Center. It's gone through some names over the years. So it was called Kamikaze for a while. I don't know if it's still called that or not, but it was it was Stan Lee's something for a while too. Okay. I was just trying to figure out the association with Octop Octopi. Octopi? I have no idea. But that was just <laughs> their thing, like from the very first year it was on their uh, on their ads. Like that was just what they picked as like their mascot and stuff from the beginning. So people would do octopus related art for the show so it's stanley's tentacle show i got gotcha. you <laughs> so. all right all right ready sharon we, we do the tentacle arm dance <laughs> this, there you go um <laughs> hey who owns this one? Oh, okay so i i just love this piece this is by ian churchill it's from the dc universe holiday special 2008 i actually read it it's very interesting because okay um it's basically he's like a three wise men and that's mary the pregnant lady is mary and um he saves her life and then um oh it's it's just such a great story and and then it doesn't like the scan doesn't do it justice okay i mean Ian Churchill, like, here's the color version. It's like a double page spread. It's hard to see from the scan. Um, Hold on. I'll, I'll... It's just, it's just incredible. That art. I mean, so did he do the entire book? 
No, there are multiple artists in the book, multiple artists doing that book. So, so yeah. Aquaman saves Jesus. Is that <laughs> basically, and then he has no gift to bring. So he's like a wise man or maybe more like the drummer boy. I don't know because he has nothing to give to Mary, but he, she ends up kissing him at the end and saying, Oh, you gave me the best gift of all, I guess, life. Save my life. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. So. It's one of those DC plot lines. Yeah. I don't really understand. <laughs> Derek's an expert. He could explain the backstory to the backstory. <laughs> I could. I could. And I think this, I think, is this your piece, Derek? It, it is. It is. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Sharon. Not rigged. Love Not it. rigged. All right. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, Scott. Um, I, I will admit this one was interesting. Um, it's a full story. And it is chock full of tentacles. So what do we got here? Yeah, this was like some kind of, I don't know, 50s cartoon. And uh, I won't read it for you guys. But it's kind of strange. And what was that movie where the lady loves falls in love with the fish man? Uh, remember that one? I don't want like to say the wrong title and get myself in trouble. So, I'll so it reminded me of that. Uh, it also reminds me of Jason in the chat. Because I think he has two. He has a tank with uh, two... Um, two octopi and this guy clearly loves this octopus and they have like the left page and the right there bottom right you know there's a lot of affection going on so that's all i'll say about that one <laughs> hey man love love knows no bounds right yeah all right and look at okay. uh and if you hug an octopus it's eight times better or four times better. <laughs> extra, extra huggy yeah extra huggy all right well that's round one Let's get that first vote in. We have got The Hunt. We've got Lola, XOXO, DC Universe Holiday, and Slim Chick Comics. <laughs> Guess I should have made that one more descriptive, but you can see the picture. Any, any uh, last-ditch comments to win over the audience? I mean, one of them was used as the title card. So. As a what? I said one of them was used as the title card for the show, so oh. I think it stands out. You're not supposed to team up, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I, I think it looks cool. My selection has more panels, Mine is best. so if we're going by panels, yeah. it's all funny. about the pan. Oh, and and tentacles per square inch. Yes. Mine has yeah. the best tentacles you'll see tonight. Ooh, right let's now. do a number game. How many tentacles are on the screen right now? Go. <laughs> I mean, Sharon's. No, does we'll leave, have we'll this leave kind that to the end. Mine the best. Whirly twirly tentacles, check it out. I was like, Sharon, Sharon's just kind of saving, you know, the savior, so that's something <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, what do we think? More suction. I'll just, I'm just gonna, <laughs> that one. 74. We got a 74. All right, the winner, winner of round one. Lola XOXO. All right. I got one Yay! for Tatiana. Oops, should have brought my pen. Congratulations. <laughs> That's an awesome piece. Boats are still pouring in. Okay. Still three more to go. Three more to go. All right. See? Oh, clicking on the wrong screen. We got our round. I'm reusing these memes. You'd be, it's hard pressed to find round memes that are free. <laughs> so, all right. All right, Derek. Um, there's a so, lot of tentacles. You, yeah, you, there's, there's definitely a lot of tentacles. Like, you, you don't get much better than this. This is like one of the creepiest, like, tentacly creepy things I've ever seen. And, and it's from the, the Guardians of the Galaxy issue number 20. And I, I, I remember when I was reading this, it was like all kinds of weird stuff happens. Luckily, she manages to, like, psychically blast the thing off of her after this so just to make people feel better but then like she gets like impregnated by it and she runs around and she's like pregnant for like a couple issues so it's like it's really wacky doodle but like if if you're gonna pick something for tentacles i mean i was like how can you not pick this this is like a, a great splash that the detail in it is extraordinary and um and i i just thought it was the 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 peril you feel for Moondragon, you know, uh, getting 
basically like you know assaulted that's by moon, this thing. That's so, moon dragon. Yeah, like in the lower uh, left yeah. corner there, she's she's getting. So she kind of gets lambasted. impregnated by this tentacle monster. Yeah, in the yeah, comic. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of wild. So, like, yeah. and it's canon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it, I mean, you know, they they didn't put everything in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. <laughs> I don't think we'll see that in part three. Nope. Um, all right. We've got a Moon Dragon impregnated by Tentacle Monster for, for Derek's pick. It's great. All right. Tatiana. Uh, I mean, Doc Ock was a, it was a reoccurring theme. It's, it's, it's a pretty good go-to. So, I, you know, there was a lot of Spider-Man uh, Doc Ock pieces in there. Um, and the, the reason I picked this one is just... I absolutely love how much it really captures the eye. So that first, you know, kind of three quarter splash there, um, <laughs> you can feel that hip, you can feel that kick. And uh, I, I love the way it's laid out. Uh, it really draws your eye where, where um, you know, the artist wants you to look. Um, and then of course we can't forget that sweet moment in that bottom panel there, which is a tentacle free moment. Well, <laughs> that we can see. To um Beach, but yeah, overall, the, like design, the design on this was just incredibly well done and um i am actually not familiar with this artist and i want to know more about them so i was excited to, to see this artwork it's awesome and the bottom panel isn't that the tentacle on the left like yeah. he's passed out and it's droopy yes yeah. you're right yeah see you get to make out in front of tentacles <laughs> Is that whatever? No. All right. There's going to be so many comments that you could take it one step further. You're having a really hard time. Pull it back. You got to pull it back. Yeah, I should have been drinking for this show. I was surprised you didn't do a birth page joke on uh, Derek's page. Conception page. Yeah, I want to go back. Can I do that? Yeah, we'll go back later. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <gasps> this Can't is cuts. the next one. Okay. I mean, this is what it's all about. We are a family here at Comic Art Fans, and Lance Suarez did this amazing creation of Marcus, and I love it. I mean, it's got the word bubble, got a comment on some crotchety artwork, and he's got all those tentacles <coughs> moving and grooving and making his comments. I just love this. I love it so much. Oh, come on! <laughs> I just saw this comment. I guess. Um, no. Has, any, has anyone seen ever seen Marcus, Marcus not wearing a trench coat? It's a perfect mix of body <laughs> horror and fun. <laughs> and one of his most well thought out ideas communicated through the comic medium. So, booyah! There you go. And it's it's just awesome, and it's so much fun, and I love it. It's just great. And the crotchety artwork goes back to the crotch goblin, and you got. Marcus got my uh, my uh, artwork from that. So my uh, commission that I did, my recreation of that. So anyway, I love this page. It's the best. I mean, he's got we the, all, it's. Yeah, we we all know Marcus has more tentacles in real life, though. But I know it's <laughs> more than eight. He's I was, moving I always pictured Marcus with six computers all, you know. <laughs> Marcus has at least nine tentacles, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, honestly, I mean, I just imagine a uh, kind of a chop shop in the basement. They all have computers and calf up, and they're just like little kids that have to do calf comments 24 7. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at his awesome. Prove me wrong. Face. Prove me wrong. Turn their face. The way he drew his they have, face. To, they have to write the poems. And... <laughs> yeah, the poem. Look good enough. This came with the poem, basically. So. Wait a minute. Have you ever seen chat? Uh, GP and Marcus in the same room. Mm, good point. Mm -hmm. It's all automated. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Um, no bias, but I don't know what's going on. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here either, but it's kind of like Moon Knight and Doc Ock um, had a baby. And mm -hmm. so Moon Knight's got these tentacles coming out uh, and they're attacking some folks. And I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's the tentacles are actually not Moon Knight. It's a character called Moonshade, and Moonshade was um, 
Moon Knight's evil doppelganger from Infinity War. So mm. it's a cool Infinity War page. And then if, if you look at the top of the guy with the tentacles, that's Moon Knight. So like wow. it, it was like Spider-Verse before Spider-Verse, like Moon Knight goes in and like meets all these different versions of himself and then the the moon shadow guy or moon shade guy mm -hmm. he's like the evil version of him but then like see though there's the one that's like a bat or whatever and then the girl on the left i think it was called like crescent moon or so i don't know if she was supposed to be like the sailor moon version of moon knight or something anyway they, they had all these different batman artists do it and norm grateful obviously is one of the you know prominent Batman artist, so he was recruited to do a few pages for this. Got it. That's cool. awesome. Um, I like the bottom right panel where you can see just how many tentacles he has. Why does the the evil guy have to have tentacles? Huh? Maybe he's just misunderstood. <laughs> Sharon, if you start eating crab legs over there, my son <laughs> just brought this to me. He's he's a Lego master, and he just uh, built this Lego octopus for me. Oh, there you go. Wow. All right. Well, um, you know, I'm a Moon Knight fan. I thought this one was really slick. It's awesome. Um, all right. Ready for round two. I got to click on the right screen. Oh, we have got voting. A any any closing arguments on this round? Lynn Suarez, the best! It's awesome! <laughs> it's family! Come on, people! She's going to start rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Ock and Spidey impregnated moon dragon. Yeah, moon dragon. Oh, birth page of her future birth. Did she actually give birth to that thing? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Whoa, oh. you stumped Derek. Whoa. Yeah, I don't uh, remember. And then <laughs> tentacle, alter, ego, evil moon knight. Moonshade. Yep. My pitch is you learned more about my page than any other page on here. <laughs> all right well let's see you got a pre pre-birth page we got how the actual comments are done and you know doc ox always a classic with a little romance sprinkled in all right anyone need more time audience you got your votes tentacle dance <laughs> and i'm shocked um <laughs> and, you know he just brought his crew that's all it is this, this thing's rigged <laughs> Should have kicked that one out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got Marcus. Yay! Marcus. Woo -woo! Uh, uh, all right. We up. Oh, we got. Hey, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Anthony. Woo okay. You vote at one time per tentacle. You know, this is actually um, the way this voting works. You can actually change your vote now. I'm just playing. No! Let's go to the... uh -oh. <laughs> it's close. It's in the book. It's in the books. <laughs> Round three. You got me. Eric. Oh, I, I like this one. I'm not a, I'm not the DC guy. I don't know what it is. Well, this yeah, is, I, know what I mean, is. this is fairly standard. I mean, it's, it's a Mira Queen of Atlantis page and there's tentacles because she's fighting an underwater tentacle monster. I mean, she was, she was the queen of Atlantis at this point. So like she was taking over the, the Royal duties for Aquaman and it was a pretty good mini series. And, um, and I, I think it, um, I mean, it definitely fits the mandate. You see like the barnacles and the whole nine yards. It's, it's traditional tentacle, not, um, not crazy, you know, symbiote tentacle. You it's know? your, it's your old school quality tentacle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I know with Wonder Woman, they always find weird ways to, to get her tied up and Aquaman and all that stuff. They always try to get Mera fighting tentacle monsters. Uh, I think so. She was always kind of getting into trouble on the cartoons. So, yeah, I think so. Well, artists are weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. We got Tatiana. Uh, I mean, this fits the bill. It's just an explosion of slime. I mean, I just feel like this piece just needs no, no uh, explanation or introduction. I mean, it's Mike Mignola. Um, the details in the, in the entire thing are super cool. Um, and 
you know, one of the things that Mignola is just incredible at is his lighting. And so I absolutely love the way this is so brightly lit from the front. And then you can see all the different shadows and, and the way that the tentacles are layered. So it is definitely a bouquet of tentacles. <laughs> so um, it, it's just super cool. Like his design sense is, is second to none. And um, I just think that it's an incredibly unique way to, to present. And I haven't ever seen anything else quite like this. Um, and of course, you know, he's a master, so I'm not surprised, but I was really, really happy to see this in the, uh, in the sketchbook for this month. Yeah. So for, uh, you know, those couples who are trying to figure out what to get for Valentine's day, I suggest a bouquet of tentacles. <laughs> Shake things up. I'd Gets like the message to. across, I guess. All right. <laughs> now it's gorgeous. Hellboy. So this is an older Hellboy, uh, Hellboy number three. I think it's the first mm -hmm. one. Yep. That's yep. Seat of destruction. All right. We've got um, a dude riding a seahorse. I mean, that's Another classic. Another Aquaman. Mm -hmm. I love Aquaman. Okay. So, I mean, he's riding a seahorse and upset. I mean, it's Aquaman. It he doesn't, doesn't enjoy riding seahorses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Ramona Fraden. I love the lightness of her work. She's just incredible. It's her, her work is just sweet. I don't know how else to put it. I just love like how detailed it is. It's, um, it's, it's so clean and precise. The microscopic details that she puts into everything, it looks so simple, but yet it's not. There is a ton of work going into this. And I just love the movement of it. I mean, look at those fish. Look at the expression on that seahorse's face. And then you got the super strong Aquaman looking manly. Awesome. Yeah, all the, and then the all tentacles, of, his of course. Don't Oops. forget the tentacles. There they Clicked are. Clicked on the wrong one. It didn't mean thigh day. Yeah, I mean, he's got all of his friends with him. Those are his little buddies yeah. he grew up with. The you movement know, of the water. And um, yeah, I, I just love it. Um, <laughs> her work looks simple, but it's it's not it's super complicated and gorgeous like exquisite i love ramona Freighton. Yeah, very clean lines uh very well done very well done all right scott number four. Oh, i know about this one you yeah when i think one. about uh tentacles i think about venom so uh george hodge has turned me on to this design art so i think it's really cool just to kind of see how the creators are thinking about the designs of characters. And yeah, so I thought I would throw this in the mix. It's from Ed McGinnis. Yep. I know um, that Venomverse series, um, it's kind of, you know, that's where all the little poison things, they took over symbionts and they turn them into hard shell monster things. And I've had a lot of those covers and that's what, uh, you know, kind of one of my first big purchases in the hobby. So I definitely know the poison design. I didn't know Ed McGinnis designed them because um, I think the artist on there, I forgot who the artist was who actually did the um, the pages, but that's kind of cool to see use a lot of Ed McGinnis designs in books that he's not drawing on. Yeah, George knows the backstory on that. I guess they call on him to do a lot of character designs for various mm -hmm. things. Um, if he's in the chat, he'll do a much better explanation of that than I would. I literally right. We've got our four pieces for round three. We've got uh, Mira, um, I guess, just getting getting friendly with sea creatures, just like Aquaman's getting friendly with sea creatures on the bottom. We've got the, the, the tentacle bouquet. we got poison Spider-Man. So who's going to win this one? What are your guesses? I had a DC, uh, I have a DC question for Derek. Has, uh, has Mira, Mira ever fought Maxima? No, but you, you know what's funny is in JLA Avengers, like Maxima is hanging out with all the, you know, underwater guys. And I feel like people would get them easily confused. So Don't be jealous. Oh, I'm sure you got an Aquaman costume somewhere, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> she can get you a nice blow up seahorse to ride. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Oh, 
I think they should reenact an Aquaman. That would be good. <laughs> Well, you probably have a Mira costume, right? Have you done that yeah, one? Yeah, sure. It could be a Mira. I, I do not have a Mira costume, but I was actually shopping for one Yet. for the show. <laughs> Didn't happen, but it's in the works. There you I go. Love Mira. That Anthony is Aquaman, Sharon is Mira for the next Yay! one of those dueling dealers. You hear that? What do you cosplay as, Tatiana? I, was it Psylocke? Is that what you've done? Uh, com uh, costumes? I have done um, Kitty Pride. Um, I've done an Assassin's Creed costume. I've done Deadpool. Cool. Um, I've done Steampunk Alice in Wonderland. I've done Spider Woman. <laughs> um, Electra. Do you, do you, I mean, you still do that like when you go to cons? Costume? Or is that. I haven't worn a costume in a long I just don't have time. I just don't have time. One of these days I will. I just don't have time. I have a custom I haven't even worn yet. I have Phoenix as, that it's never been worn. Oh, fun. You gotta... Well, you gotta do it. Oh, overwhelming. Oh, it's going down. Do we call it? <laughs> yeah, we call it. Hellboy. A bundle of tentacles. Oh, Tatiana, you got two. You're gonna have to compete against yourself. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final round, guys. We're She's making got a 50% great time. shot. Oh, Derek, we are going to start with it's like a class, Submariner 27, page five. Salvu Sema. Yeah. So Joe G. Joe G. This is this is like classic Marvel, man. I mean, this is this is a classic imagery. All the, the poor passengers are fleeing in terror from the tentacle of the Kraken. Um, but technically, it's not traditional because it's a robo kraken. It's like some guy named Captain Kraken is running around in a robo robot kraken or whatever. And then I think Namor sticks him on the real kraken at the end. But this this page like just reminds me of all the the dynamism that like you know somebody like Jack Kirby brought to Marvel, and then Sal Buscema kind of carried on that tradition. You know, everybody like fleeing in terror, running straight into the camera. And then that big giant, you know, tentacle coming out. It's almost like, uh, you know, like when people watch either, you know, giant kaiju movies or, or whatnot. And, you know, I don't know. I, I just thought it was a really, really cool page. I will say, I mean, if, if size matters, this is the biggest tentacle we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that hang. All right. <laughs> Tatiana, your turn. We got another color one. Hellboy and... And Modoc, and they've seen better days. What's going on yeah. here? <laughs> so I just picked this because uh, Giorgio Comolo stuff is is incredible. Um, I wasn't really familiar with this art until I met him at the the Como show a few years ago, and um, he he's just his design sense is just really really cool. So this piece I picked not because of the characters who were on it, but just the art is so incredibly well done. He really pops the figures to the front. Um, there's so much energy going on with the storm in the background. The, uh, the tentacles are so unique, the way that they're, um, it's, and then the, the characters are like, have different stuff going on. Like Modoc's probably not going to have a very good day after this. <laughs> um, but you know, he's, uh, probably not the best person to fight off tentacles anyway. Um, I absolutely loved the way that wonder, he did the highlighting on Hellboy's, uh, the, those chiseled abs there. I love the color choices there with the highlights to really accentuate his uh, his muscles, and um, and then just the that little bit of blue on the tentacles in the background to kind of bring you from the front to the back. I just thought the the colors on this were just really expertly done. Yeah, it's nice. I, I I'm curious, how do you uh, go about asking or expressing your vision to the artists to have them create this piece? Um, you take Hellboy, you take Modoc, and you just put them in an interesting situation. Artist choice. I don't. Know. Yeah, that's a good question. I want. I mean, I don't know who's you know who's this is. I don't know you know the the history behind the piece, but um, sometimes you get the best art when you give, uh, you know, just light kind of a light touch with what you ask for. Actually, I think, is it, I mean, Cosmo's the Modoc guy. 
I would place a bet it might be his. So I'll have to ask him that later. I bet the All request right. was anything with tentacles. And then they just <laughs> put two characters in there. That's right. He just asked for tentacles. And they <laughs> picked the Modoc and Hellboy. It's a craze. All right. Oh. All oh, right. This nice. I love this. Okay, this is a Gary Frank commission. Batman and Poison Ivy. He's got such a crisp, detailed style. I love the subtle details of their facial expressions. I mean, look. I mean, check it out. Like, look at Batman. Look at her. It's like she's saying, relax. Relax. I've got now. Just let, you know, like, let it go. Just just give up your yeah. mind. You've, mm -hmm. you've lost and just give in to the tentacles of my vines, you know. So, and I, then also I just, I love how Ivy is drawn. It's, I mean, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's drawn like a dancer. Like she's got the graceful mm -hmm. lines of a dancer. Um, she just looks beautiful. And I love the fluidity of like, it's, it's movement here. I, I just love that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, almost pin up -y. And I, I really like that too about it. I think it's gorgeous. That's definitely a beautiful piece. I don't, I like when I was going through it at first, like I saw Gary Frank and everything. I was like, is that a, a Frank Cho girl? But um, no, it's all Gary Frank. Of course, the Batman probably looks better than, well, <laughs> I won't say anything. This is recorded live. So, all right. <laughs> and a oh, final one around four. We've got. Boba Fett um, in the Sarlacc pit, right? Yeah, yeah. When you think about Star tentacles, Wars. you think kind of sci-fi, and the Sarlacc pit is the the classic OG tentacle shot where Boba gets pulled in, and now they've retconned him that he gets out. Oops, spoiler. Maybe. <laughs> well, Han shot first. Yes. Yeah, and you can see the uh, you know Jabba's sail barge up there, so it's cool perspective that we're looking from inside the pit. Usually, you're on the other side of this situation here, and I really like the Boba here. He's got all the accoutrements. He's got the little things on his toes, the uh, viewfinder, the rocket, little blade coming out. Good stuff. Well, it's everything he needs to uh, escape the tentacle pit. I have I'm never said the I'm drinking with my words. Boba Fett cup. <laughs> I got my tentacle cup. I, as like I said, I've, I've never said the word tentacle so many times. <laughs> I think in my entire life than we've done in this 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 one little short segment. Yeah, you okay. gotta tell you gotta tell everyone at work tomorrow about it. I, I mean, I'll just give them the link. <laughs> 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 okay, we got round four. We've got. <clears throat> The classic giant tentacle submariner number twenty mariner number twenty seven page. <laughs> I know I caught myself, so I hope we a fandom hate. I've got a Hellboy and Modok. Um, you know they've seen better days, but they'll they'll be okay. I, I think well, at least Hellboy will. Yeah, Batman and Ivy. <laughs> Ivy's looking gorgeous. <laughs> Batman uh, is looking slightly constipated, but you know he's being covered in tentacles. Oh, you printed it out. Oh, I was yeah. Like, you have it, please? <laughs> and then we've got. I bought Boba it. No. From uh, underneath the actually, this is probably looking up like the Sarlacc. If he's got eyes, the Sarlacc have eyes. Eric, do we know this? Uh, I I would say they don't, but it it is a a Sarlacc eyes view, right? Yeah. Right. There you go. That'll work. So. And I would say these are like tentacles because Ivy can make them move, you know? Like, it's not like a regular plant. She makes these alive. That's why they're tentacles. It works for me. Anyone disagree? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see round four. Batman and Ivy. It's the the ladies took it tonight. Woo! Nice. Yay, Diana! Woo -woo! <laughs> we obviously have the best taste, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, tentacle arms, tentacle arms. <laughs> she's she's doing her. It's basically her touchdown dance. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Batman and Ivy for round four. Um, I will say this. I didn't do this last time, but I wanted to do it. They don't count. I just wanted to do my host picks. I've got two that Ooh, I personally nice. like. Hey, I saw earlier someone said not enough X-Men. Uh, I'll always pick X-Men. That's just me. So this one, um, uh, Steve Fastner, Rich Larson. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It, the, the paint's so clear. It has everyone in action in the danger room. I think it was, yeah, it says published in 1983. Um, so this was one of my favorite picks um, from that, that didn't get picked by the group. And then the second one was this Cthulhu <gasps> thing. I, w- I, w- mm. I was thinking about that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot too. Oh I my mean, gosh. I, I don't know Jonathan uh, Wayshack, Wyshack. Um, it's got almost a, kind of an Art Adams feel, but a slightly more realistic. So um, cool. <clears throat> it's gorgeous. So those Amazing. were, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, those were my uh, kind of host. Pick- oh, I picked the third one. Hey. Oh, I was going <laughs> to pick that too. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I figured, you know, everyone's getting attacked by tentacles. or I, I don't know. This one's cooking with tentacles. So I guess that's And something. eyeballs. Yeah. And eyeballs. <laughs> so those are those are the host picks. Unfortunately, they don't count. But just know I love them though. They did. All right. So I'm gonna go build the intermission. Um, you know, just kind of a throwback. We're gonna have a collector conversation. Uh, social ask. Before we do, I think we've got a couple couple announcements. We'll we'll let Sharon go first. Sharon, what do you got for us? No. Oh, should I? I'm yep. Anthony, go bring it. Okay. I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Good All right. Anthony this time. Anthony, <laughs> bring me the cake. What's your best price, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> and what I think uh from inter- intermission before I jump in and let you guys do the collector conversation side, uh Tatiana, you wanted to say a couple things coming out with uh the T D Arts or T D Art. Should I go? Yeah, go ahead, Sharon. Okay. You gotta do yes. it, ma'am. It's all yep. you. All right, I got a cake. It's chocolate, <laughs> octopi, octopus, <laughs> and uh-huh. Aquaman. It's got Aquaman in it. And and uh. my son Cameron helped me with this a lot today. He painted the octopus, and he smoothed out the tentacles. Yay! So it's it's really cool. Oh, they we look made, like they're such great we've friends. Got isomalt eyes and Aquaman sitting, lounging. It looks like a chair. Yeah, a throne. Exactly. Jason, can you get bigger? Are you a streamyard uh, master? Oh yeah, my bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, oh, Bill's there he thing. is. There we go. Isomalt eyes made mm. out of candy, basically. Ta-da. <laughs> And special thanks to Cameron. We had a lot of fun making this to- together today. Does it have seven awesome. legs? It well, no, eight. Okay, I counted <laughs> seven as you were trying. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Luckily, ah, it's got eight. You know what? Ah, do do one. something that you guys hardly ever eat the cake or have a piece, have a bite. <laughs> yeah, and, and we could do that. I'll, yeah. I'll eat a leg. There you go. I watch you. <laughs> a tentacle. Yeah, not on a leg. Why not? <laughs> Might as well. I can do that. I need a knife. So, okay. Well, while she eats, uh, and uh, Tatiana, turn over to you. I think you wanted to talk about a couple of things um, that you guys are doing for. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about uh, the Como show since that's coming up. Um, it's already April now, so the, the Lake Como show is coming up in May. It is May uh, 13th and 14th with the reception um, on the night of the 12th. So this will be my first year actually selling at the show. I'll be there with eight of my artists. I'm really excited. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of you who go to the show. 
Um, and I did just want to plug that the, all eight of my artists are currently taking uh, some pre-book commissions for the show. Um, and if you're on the show tonight and you're not going to be able to make it to the show and you want to get a commission from one of them, um, just, uh, reach out to me and I'll, I'll make it happen. I'll mail it to you when I get, when I get home. So yeah, just go to the website, tdartgallery.com, go to the commissions page. Um, and yeah, feel free to reach out if you want something and you're not going to make it, but I hope many of you can make it. I look forward to seeing you, a lot of you there. It's, it's a really, really fun show. All right, thank you. All right, guys. So um, kind of a recap, we, you know, throw back to the past when we used to do our collector's conversations. Um, so we've got a collector's conversation intermission. And the thing that I wanted to get you guys kind of talking about and telling me experiences about is kind of the social aspect of collecting. You know, everyone's focused on art, focused on acquisition, focused on pricing. But one of the big reasons a lot of us do it is, you know, the friends we make, the connections, the networking, um, the people that, I mean, I know it's, it's kind of funny. Like I know right now um, I can go to so many parts in the world and reach out to someone like the world uh, in, you know, East Asia, Europe, you name it, and be able to talk to someone or have a friend or someone show me around from a local perspective. It's been amazing. So, you know, some questions to discuss. Um, I'll, I'll actually turn it over to you, Derek, first, and I will hop out for a bit and uh, build up the championship round. I mean, I think the social aspect is pretty important because, like James was saying, you get to make friends with different people. And if you don't network or if you, you are too shy about things, right, then, then maybe you you miss out on connecting with people that have a special piece you like. Or sometimes I think in some cases, I think people have suggested things to me that I've never thought of or couldn't think of in a million years. And, you know, because they have more collecting experience than me maybe i i try things from their point of view and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't but it's always kind of fun and i i like hanging out with people at cons and going out to eat and doing stuff like that and it's fun to talk to people who you know appreciate art the same way you do right it's it's fun to get on here and and look at all these different pieces and see what everybody's picked and and why they like it and you you sort of feel like you're you know, part of a, a community that is, you know, sharing the, the same love that you have. And that usually just, you know, kind of, I don't know, reaffirms, you know, kind of what, what, what you're into, you know, your hobby and everything. So I, I think all that stuff is important and great. What about, what about you, Scott? What do you, what do you think, Mr. Tentacle? Like, I agree. Yeah. The, uh, so I do most of my, I'm a, I'm busy guy with, kids and a job and stuff and i haven't been able to make it to, to out to conventions other than last year i got to go to heroes and meet a lot of folks that was a lot of fun so the the online community is really where i meet people and do all my trading and and that kind of thing and uh, i'm a big believer in uh, original art karma so i call it oa karma where if you can help somebody find something uh along the way it tends to come back to you kind of 10 times what you put out there so so it's a lot of fun to help folks find what they're looking for. Um, and then it, it, you know, circles back around. Uh, it's kind of funny whenever something hits that uh, people know I like, I'll usually get like six people that will tell me about it. So it's a, it's like an early alert system that we all have built for each other to give each other an edge, which is a lot of fun because uh, it's hard to go out and find the, the kind of rare things that we're looking for. Um, but it's a lot of fun. You know, I got to meet you uh, for the first time when I went on a business trip out in San Francisco. Yeah, so like James, yeah. if I go on a trip somewhere and I have like a couple hours, I'm always going to try to drop in and see someone. Haven't made it to Vegas, but that's high on my list to see that whole group out there. A uh, quick, James quick conversation. I haven't seen anyone come in uh, or I haven't seen anyone visit Oklahoma voluntarily. Um, so I think it's me always reaching out. All right. Yeah. Back on to you. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, so that's, that's a really cool aspect of, of the hobby, um, is to just go out around and meet people around the country. And then here, and I wouldn't have been connected if it weren't for CAF, I wouldn't be connected to the, I'm in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. So the triangle area and there's a collector Carrie. here. So I, yeah. So I got to meet, I'm, uh, I'm Carrie, born I know. Night. And your dad, you're, you got to stop by. We'll have to, uh, next time you're in town, we'll have a little get together. Uh, George Hodge is here. And then there's a bunch of other collectors that, um, uh, I can't remember their calf names and I don't know if they want me to say the real names, but uh, you know, so they do a little annual art in the woods. I'm going to miss it or I already missed it. I can't remember when it is, 
uh, and then over in Charlotte, we've got um, Rob and a whole group of collectors over there. So, so it's been fun to connect with local folks uh, through CAF as well. Awesome. I can I can totally vouch as to being a personal recipient of OA Karma. So publicly, thank you, Scott. Sure. Yeah. I think whenever a Maxima thing drops, I'm I'm usually like a I'm trying to tell you, and you've already been told twelve times. So it's very well <laughs> known that that's your jam. You've got the uh, the radar out there for sure. So James, I think your best shot of someone visiting you is probably me, since my brother's family lives like uh, like a half an hour from you. Where? Uh, Where? My brother's family lives just southwest of Oklahoma City, and I think James is just northeast. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, southwest. I don't know what town it is. Yeah, come on. Uh, I'll show you the best barbecue. I mean, that's pretty much we got barbecue and college football, and, and that's about it. Awesome. Almost done. Um, so I, I guess I'll, I'll multitask on this one. Um, so, you know, the way I see it from a networking standpoint, a social aspect, uh, first of all, like majority of my collection, I gathered, you know, through the pandemic and the people on CAF and the people on, um, you know, Facebook and everything to the art community, that was my social network. And so I actually built it outside of, you know, really focused collecting on art. But what I've seen it help me personally with is, you know, I don't have the resources to go after a lot of stuff on HA, um, you know, the stuff that I like. Um, so through the networking side, you, a lot of times I get all access to pieces um, maybe before they hit auction or, or um, so I, I do have a chance to either do some type of trade or some type of, um, you know, arrangement and not only have to rely on, you know, just going to auction all the time. That's Oh, I see the, the social network side benefit me the most. Well, outside of, dude, I've made some really good friends. Really good friends. How about you, Sharon? How do you like us collectors? I mean, I'm a really shy person. It doesn't maybe seem like that, but I'm <laughs> very shy. Sharon, the introvert wearing the tentacle hat. <laughs> I'm a performer. And I feel most comfortable when I don't have to talk. Like I have a hard time verbalizing things. So I'm more of a dancer. So I feel like um, this community has given me like a confidence where I wouldn't normally have. Um, being able to be online with everybody has given me like a growth and so I'm, I'm more confident when I'm out in the real world, like at shows and things. No, so that's awesome. Especially like it's, it's, it's uh, helped me grow. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I've been an introvert my entire life as well. Um, just something you had to work with or work out. And, you know, after I guess a certain, certain amount of time, you just say whatever, you know, put yourself out there. Yeah, I think a lot like, of us in this hobby are introverts. And that's pretty common. Yeah, yeah, that that is true. <laughs> and then this this work, like, just kind of says it all for me. Like, you know, like, I don't know. It, I, I just love that so much because, you know, we're reaching each other through this medium, and our love of art, and art is huge. And it, it's it's just like art is life. I don't know. I will say. I mean, uh, that, that last one. Um, you know, when when you go when you reach out to new people, is it everything just organic? Um, do you guys ever, you know, see someone who has collecting interests of you and just blindly hit them up on cap and say, "Hey, man, what you got in your gallery is cool." I'm James. I, That's all I, I want to say. Way more interactions on cap that way than I would have expected. Like, I, I don't know that I, 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 I'd be hard pressed to say I forged any relationships, but I feel like I've had lots of uh, communication with people that maybe aren't as, um, you know, maybe they are introverted but less extroverted or whatever. So I, I think there's plenty of opportunity for stuff like that. Even if you feel shy, you know, like I think what most people say is, you know, oh, if you're interested in this, the same art or this thing that I'm interested in, you know, shoot me a line, hit me up on Cav. Like, uh, I, you know, I'm sure 
if people have that same interest like i mean i'm, I'm sure people would love to chat about it or, or however they they do it right like if somebody started asking me about i don't know dc art or, or marvel art or maxima art or whatever it is right like i'm i'm more than happy to just you know write back a long response to whatever you want to talk about so definitely I guess I'll ask this too for, for the group. And do you think you would have, I guess, been in the hobby as long as you have or have collected as much pieces as you have strictly for the art if you didn't have the social aspect? Or is that quote unquote enabled or just made the, you know, the hobby last longer for you guys? I, I met my best friend in line for Jim Lee like almost 20 years ago. So oh. it's been really life changing for me. Um, to me, it's not just about meeting other fans, but meeting collectors, getting to know them. I mean, I'm friends with a lot of uh, um, artists and, and creators and stuff now, too. So uh, that's a, a huge piece of it for me. I mean, yeah, I love art, but if that other part wasn't there, I don't know if I... I mean, I've been collecting since I was 19, and I don't know if... Like, that's just such a huge part of life. Um and I don't think it would be if it was a social piece. Gotcha. Let me close some of my apps because I don't want to have technical difficulties again. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, I'm ready. Uh, anyone else have any last comments on, you know, the social aspect of art, networking, or anything along those for our audience? Hug. Hugs. Virtual hug. Group hug. My uh, my little boy he gave his he gave his teacher air hugs today. So yay! <laughs> Perfect, I love it. All right, so let me present, share screen. Okay, championship round. So. As we go through this round, I don't care, Derek and, and, and McTenical, if, if you want to throw little comments out there here and there on what piece you want to lobby behind and team up on, you guys are more than welcome to. Do not do not sit this one out. Um, Sharon, Tatiana, you ready? I don't know. What do I have to do? This is the championship <laughs> round. So these Ooh. are the four that made the... So Tatiana, looks like we've got the... Uh, uh, Lola X, I'm sorry, how do you pronounce her name? Sia? Sia, Sia Ohm. Sia. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, well, you've got two in here. Sharon's got two. And so strategically, figure out which one you want to throw the most weight behind. You're, you're up, Tatiana. Why is this piece? Sorry, should, why my, should this my you're, not just... you're not screen oh. sharing. You're not screen sharing. Yeah. Okay, that is my fault then. There it is. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, and I missed a second there because my internet slowed down and you got garbling on me and then it came back. Okay. Um, basically, championship round. You've got two. Sharon's got two. Um, I guess why is to this piece or, or your other one uh, win the calf theme for the, the month of March? Well, first of all, I would like to say that I'm fine with whoever wins. Sharon is amazing. So... Um, people should vote however they should vote. They want to vote. Um, but about the about the two pieces that, of mine that are in the final four, I think the thing about the Sia piece that makes it really special is the theme is tentacles, and these are the most realistic-looking tentacles. And of all the pieces that we saw tonight, I mean, this is literally a giant octopus, and there's no mistaking that. You know exactly um, how they're going to feel when you slide your finger on them. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, with the Mignola piece, I mean, he's a master. He's just one of the best artists out there. Um, and who else could make a bouquet of tentacles look that cool? Um, I think that all the sushi restaurants should get on board and start offering that for uh, Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> you know, a big sushi yeah. tentacle buffet. Like, you know, I think it's going to start a trend. And so vote for it now before other people catch on and you can say you were there first. There's going to yeah. be a lot of dates looking across the table going seriously. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got for the second one. Oh, <laughs> Sharon, why is this the best piece for the technical? Because <laughs> it's the best. Got to comment on some crotchety artwork in the 
bubble. Um, it's Marcus. You know, look at that priceless look on his face, the thoughtful thoughts, you know, <laughs> and he's commenting on all the things he's seeing on comic art fans. It's priceless. Um, so I'm, I'm convinced. It really shows how we are a family here at CAF. Um, what's what's that movie with Tom Hanks uh, that he goes to all the churches and uh, Enigma Code or, or something like that? You know what I'm talking know. about? Like he's solving riddles. Is it uh, Da Vinci? Da Vinci, Vinci Code. Code. That's what oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just convinced that all of his poems have hidden words in them or a hidden letter um, that we're going to have to structure all together and we get the real meaning of who Marcus is. Oh, maybe. I'm, I'm going to keep that the conspiracy theory. The poem that was being. posted was like, "Here sits the here sits Marcus." This is the why, a.k.a. <laughs> king of comments, a.k.a. keeper of the crotch, a.k.a. the shameless one, a.k.a. lyric meister, a friend to all, including Spam, Vape, FJ, Nikki, B, the collector, Ramita Man, Snide, and the wonderful Sharon. And But most of all, Bill again! And those eight, eight arms... Keep the comments coming. Can we uh can we uh, make keeper of the crotch a running thing? I'm just I like saying. that. We need a I, we need I a like t-shirt it. for that for Marcus's picture. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, on t-shirts, uh, I'm rocking my whatever. We need to have a tentacle thing on that though. That I think that would <laughs> that would be a good thing. Keeper of the yeah. crotch. I, I I like that. Um, this is my moon bat t-shirt. It's Aranga's art. Uh, Mikhail actually made these shirts for heroes, so I was just kind of rocking my uh, Mikhail made Aranga drawn hero shirt. Wonderful. So, all right, we already talked about the bouquet of tentacles, and we'll finish off with uh, bats and ivy. I, I bet, yeah, I guess uh, she's pissed because bats gave her a bouquet of tentacles for Valentine's Day. Yes, and they keep tentacling into places, so he's having a hard time, but this is this is gorgeous i mean the lines of her body i mean it doesn't get more exquisite than this check it i mean come on and then batman muscly and and she's like touching his face like dude chill Let's out calm down it's you'll be fine yes we're not <laughs> you're mine now derek oh. what is your pick of the four uh, I, I really love that Hellboy piece. It's um, it's historical. I mean, it made me think of the, the movie and everything. And I think it definitely fits the mandate. It's, you know, it's literally a bouquet of tentacles. Like, I, I, I think that's the one I'm most drawn to. Yeah. Scott? I have to go with the Marcus uh, art. The uh, When you post some new art and you're sitting there and comments are coming in, you get that Marcus notification. You have to kind of go read that one real fast to see what crazy stuff he's dreamed up yay and he's the keeper of the crotch yes as a hope as a host <laughs> yeah to keep it uh, yep i'm not going to give my opinion but uh i think all four great picks bill are you in the audience what's your opinion okay bill. let's get this championship round underway we'll let it run for for about a minute because people are, are going to be very very con contemplative uh, and I know they're they're gonna vote both with their minds and their hearts and analyze all the details of every, all four pieces so <laughs> so let's uh, let's go ahead and see where it goes and again um, the winner of this round will be one of the I think 12 I think we're gonna be able to get a full year's worth right but one of the 12 pieces that'll be in a special category for calf uh, the best of calf and they'll win a uh, best of calf trophy. Um, the final, like at the very, very end, we won't do uh, any type of uh, polling like this uh, for the winner of the 12. It'll be a vote just like every other best of calf um, going on there. So I think uh, next month um, we're off to a really good start. It is painted. So it's very, very broad. So if you want to get, you know, your piece in there, if you didn't have anything that quite fit the tentacle theme, I personally didn't. Uh, maybe I need to rectify that. Um, I'm sure most of you guys will have something that will will fit the painted thing. So, any any final words, uh, my my wonderful panel of the evening, before we go ahead and see who's crowned champion? 
This is so much fun. Huh? You ready, Sharon? I, I'm I'm just having so much fun. I yeah. love everything. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah. What'd you eat your I cake? Did you like, have a bite of cake? My you don't have to. You don't have, we're not, we're, knife? No peer pressure. No peer pressure. I will take a tentacle. <laughs> so I didn't know that, that octopi were made of chocolate, that I learned something tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, 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 and say one for Anthony, too. I Actually, will. how many boys do you have? Three. Three and five. He's still got three tentacles left. <gasps> one for each family member. Well, the best part about this is when we're done, I won't have to say tentacle on YouTube uh, for a long time. It broke. So. It's crumbly. All right. Count us down, Derek. Five, four, three. Uh, here we go. <laughs> God. I knew it. Uh, it's a cult thing. That's what it is. Yeah. It's a cult thing. Nobody tell Mike McNall and he would be so <laughs> <laughs> Actually, send him this link. Say, Mar and, and, and with Marcus's address. <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, congratulations. You know, I would say, I would say well-deserved. We all love Marcus. Marcus is, is, is very much the, the, the heart of the fans, I think, when it comes to, to CAF. So, yeah. Congratulations, Sharon. Congratulations, Congratulations, Marcus, for your likeness being the winner this month. There you Yay. go. And, uh, Sharon yes. won. Ah. <laughs> she I gets a prize. Tennis. I got Woo. her this. Look at oh. this. Space Girl Sharon oh. with tentacles. Hold on, hold on, hold on. prize for winning. Look at that. Let me remove. I'm gonna, Very nice. So let's make you. I don't know how to make you big. We're fine. We can seal you. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, again, we kept it short. We kept it um, on time. I appreciate all of you guys for submitting your picks, um, viewing all the artwork. Thank you for jumping on YouTube. Um, I, you know, anyone in the audience who wants to be on a future panel, definitely let me know. Um, you know, it's, it's, you, you see us on here all the time, but there is a little bit of prep work. So thank you for putting the time in, jumping on here and any, any closing words and we'll, we'll let you guys uh, kind of sign off. Hey, everybody uh, enter for the, the painted thing next month, right? Or this month, right? That's right. All right. Hey. Well, Congrats, Bill uh, Cox, I hope you enjoyed being part of the audience. You didn't leave any comments. Yeah, I don't know if you hit your likes. Um, so you're not even helping your own channel, but um, <laughs> we'll catch Come you next on. time. Come on. Uh, have a good night. Bye, Bye guys. Good night. Thank you. Bye.